Don't try to act smart with the government. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? I, I just got a voicemail to call this number. Some, something about my Social Security. I just got it, so I don't know what okay, it is. So, so, okay, so, so uh, what time did you receive the call? Geez, like five minutes ago. I, 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 I didn't hear the phone, and okay. I came back in the house, and, so, uh, and there was a message to call this okay. number. Okay. okay. So, Natra Palum, sir, did you receive any case ID or reference ID? No, I didn't hear one. Uh-huh, okay. So, so, uh, first of all... Let me introduce myself to you. This is Officer Sandra Jones with the batch ID 5414 from Legal and Investigation Department of Social Security Administration, okay? Okay. Hello? Yes, hello. Okay. Can you this hear me? Uh, first of all, can I have your name? Yes, my first yes, name. Sir. My first name is Mo, last name Lester. Can you spell out your first name, sir? M-O-E, Mo. Sorry, what's that? I M couldn't hear you. M-O-E, Mo is my first name. Oh, okay. Mo Lester, right? Mo Lester, yes. So, sir, uh, the reason we were just trying to reach you to notify you that we have got an order to suspend your social at the very right moment because we have found many suspicious activities under your social in the well, state of Texas. How, so, I'm, sir, have I'm, you ever I, been I, there, wait. or do you know anyone there? No, I get Social Security. I'm 71 years of age. I don't can't do it all. What are you doing? Oh, okay. No, sir. All right. See, right now, your Social Security number has been stolen by someone who lives in Texas. Oh. Okay. Okay. And so also, we have checked your background, and we have found that your social has no other complaints in the past. Am I right, sir? Well, I don't think so. I don't think anybody complained about my social security yes. number before. Mm -hmm. So, sir, uh, that is the reason. We tried to reach you before we take any legal course of action, then you get arrested. Because get arrested. you are a genuine person. I don't want to get arrested. Well, I'll... No, sir, I'm saying... Uh, you are okay. a genuine person. I'm a genuine. So for that, we gave you a call. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. We know that. Okay. Just hold on. So, sir, uh, first of all, can you help me out with your date of birth? 3 And, sir, so, uh, for the security purpose and for the verification, I need to verify your social. So, can you verify me your social number? 086 one zero one four six three. Okay. And so, uh, can you help me out with your current living zip code? One three one one eight. Okay. So, so just hold on. Let me just pull out your file from my system. In a meanwhile, just grab a pen and a paper so that you can write down my name, my okay. batch ID, and your case ID. Okay. So, are you ready, sir? Yeah, I got a piece of paper right here. Okay. So, sir, uh, first of all, write down my name. I'm ready. My name is Sandra Jones. Sandra Jones. Yes, okay, Sandra. My name Sandra. is Sandra Jones. Okay, Sandra. Yeah. Okay. And uh, write down my batch ID. Okay. It's JD. JD. Okay. It's uh, JD5414. 5414. Okay. Uh, and write down your case ID, sir. Mm hmm. Go ahead. It's KC. Yeah. KC. KC? 3217. 3217. Okay. Okay. So, sir, uh, first of all, can you uh, like verify me in which state did you get your social? New York State. Okay. So, not a problem, sir. Uh, so, 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 now I successfully verified you. So, okay. so now I'm going to read the case to you. So please do not interrupt me in between, okay? Okay. Once I will complete my part, I will give you okay, a chance complete. to speak, okay? Yes, okay. Go ahead. So, so uh, the reason you are contacted today is to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions filed on your social security number. And so you said you never been to 
state of Texas, right? Oh, no, I was in Texas years ago. I used to work down there, yes. I was in Texas. Okay. But it was a long time ago. It was okay. back so in the seventies. I was I was a cat cuddler mm -hmm. down there at the rescue mission. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. We used to rescue. Okay. So, okay. so I like because we are taking this matter to the FBI headquarters as we are having enough evidence. So, sir, our investigation started before two weeks when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas. And, sir, the car contained blood and some drug residues inside it. Uh -oh. And, hence, after investigation, hence. we found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. Well, I didn't so, rent a uh, car in Texas, ma'am. Have you ever rented a Toyota Corolla? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, so we understand that someone has stolen your identity. It okay. is not you, sir. Okay. So it's just I need to let you know that what has happened under your social. Okay. So I'm just giving you all the information. Okay, okay. So that you get to know. Okay. And so, uh, like, whatever we are talking, it is, uh, like, we are on the recorded line, okay? Okay. So you do not worry, okay? I didn't hear you. And so, uh, like, and there were... And there were two addresses linked with the title of vehicle, okay? So the one address in the state of New Mexico was raided by New our Mexico. U.S. Marshal. I've never but been to New Mexico. Sir, yes, mm -mm. ma'am. Yes, sir. We know that you never been there. You are a genuine person. We know that. But, sir, unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. Though we have received 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and... Some documentation from various financial institutes, such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, and Citibank. Titty Bank and is so my all bank. the paperwork has your name on it. I use Titty Bank. Yes, Titty Bank is your bank? Yes, yes. Okay. So, so uh, yes, and do you, or do you hold in 16 bank accounts and 13 credit cards? Oh, no, I have a, I've only got uh, three accounts at the Titty. Okay. Okay, so sir, and all the paperwork has your name on it, and thousands of dollars have been wired from these bank accounts locally and overseas, which totally seems obvious to us. So sir, uh, tell me that, have you ever sent money overseas? No, I, I, don't, I don't even know how to do no? that. I don't even know how to do that. Yeah. Okay, so no, sir, we know that you are a genuine person. I'm genuine, yes. Like you know all this, so that's why. Okay. Yes, sir. So, sir, uh, that is the reason we filed a legal case against you and plus four major allegations. So, the first one is violation of social security regulation. Second is violation of identity theft code. Third is drug trafficking. And the fourth is money laundering. So, do you have any idea about this allegation, sir? Well, no, but why are they filed against me if I didn't do it? I don't understand. No, man. sir. It just, uh, it just, no, sir. It just, it, like you are just a primary suspect. But as uh, this call is being recorded, so you will can prove yourself innocent. Like I can prove your, you innocent in okay. the courthouse, sir. Okay, I'm innocent. Do not worry about it, okay? Okay. So, sir, uh, as we are having a very short period of time, okay. as this matter is going to be registered inside the federal courthouse, and so uh, we have uh, we have to suspend your social security I, you number right that. away. That's what I said. I get. That's what I live on. You can't suspend my social security. That's what I live on. No, ma. No, sir. You will get a new social from us. Do yeah, but I don't want to lose. Okay? I don't want to lose my benefits. No, ma. Uh, no, sir. You will not lose anything, sir. I promise you that. Oh, you okay. will not. You will not lose a single dollar. Nothing, sir. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So, sir, uh, we understand that you are a victim of identity theft. Am I right, sir? I must be. Yes, because I didn't rent no Toyota in yes. Texas. So, uh, uh, we are giving you a chance. To I, I've never to been to New Mexico without getting arrested. I don't want to get arrested. Yes. I'm too old. Sir, also, I need to, no, sir. You will be not be arrested. No. Okay. It just uh, like it just. Uh, mm, I'm just let you know. Okay. okay. You will be not arrested, and nothing will happen to you. 
Okay. Because we have also checked your background and we have found out that all your past banking statements and your social have no other complaints in the past. So okay. we know that you are a genuine and innocent person. I'm genuine, so, innocent, yes. So, sir, I need to ask you some questions which you need to answer me very honestly, okay? I will, okay. Also, do you have any doubt on someone? Any doubt on someone? I don't know what that means. Yes. Like, do you suspect anyone who can steal your identity? No, I don't think. Well, there is one person. Okay, and so have you ever lost your wallet? No, but okay, so Cross-Eyed Mary so? comes here and has coffee and stuff, and sometimes I don't trust her. Mm -hmm. I think maybe she may could have oh, gotten okay. it. Cross-Eyed Mary, mm -hmm. she lives two doors down. And uh, over and up your ass, and I, I, I don't know what to do with her. Okay, so sir, uh, you do not worry. We will catch the man suspect soon, okay? Okay, yes. Okay, sir. And sir, like, have you ever lost your wallet before? No, never. I have a chain on it. Okay, I have a chain have on it, and it, hooks, and it hooks to my belt. It hooks to my belt uh -huh. with a chain, so I can't mm -hmm. lose it because people worry about me being okay. so old, losing it all the time. So my daughter, yeah. Marissa, uh -huh. who we are very proud of, uh -huh. she went to college, she told me I should start okay. wearing a chain on my wallet, and she was correct. Mm -hmm. I haven't lost it since. Okay. And so, like, have you ever put your personal information over the Internet before? I don't think so. I don't know, but I get confused sometimes on the okay. internet. Okay. So, sir, um, we have also checked your background, as I said, and found out that you are a genuine person. I am genuine. Your social and your bank has no other complaints. Okay. No. So, sir, uh, that is the only reason we try to reach you. Okay. So, sir, uh, like, at this point of time, government is providing you two options. Okay. You can choose any one of the options in order to resolve. Okay. Okay. So, sir, first option is that if you agree to cooperate with the Department of Social Security Administration in this case, then only we can put your case and arrest warrant on hold. Okay, put it on hold. I, I take that option. option. Is that? I take that option. Put it on hold. Okay. Uh, sir, okay. Uh, just let me write it down here. You okay. want to cooperate. But listen to the second option. Okay, okay? what's the second option? And so, like, we can forward this information to your local authorities. Then you can hire a criminal lawyer for yourself, and you can fight this case legally inside the federal courthouse. So you said you want to cooperate, right? I want to cooperate. I don't want to go to the courthouse. Yes, sir. I can't, so just, I can't afford a lawyer. I can't afford my own so lawyer. I can't afford that. Okay. So, sir, not a problem. Just be on the line. Let me just transfer the call to my senior officer, okay? Oh, okay. Thank you. Be on the line. I will. Hold on. Okay. Thank you for holding the line. Your line has been transferred to the senior investigation agent, the is officer, Alice. Am I speaking to Mr. Um, Lester? Lester? Mo Lester, yes, but you're going to have to speak up, man. I, I can hardly hear you. Uh, Mr. Mo, this is officer, Alice. Your call has been connected to me, sir, regarding your case. Okay, Alice. I believe, sir, that the previous officer, she gave you all the information about your case to yes, you? Yes, some car in Texas, and I, I explained to her that I used to live down there. I was a cat cuddler there at the uh, rescue mission, but that was years ago, and I never rented no car down there, and I'd never been to New Mexico. Okay. okay. Uh, right now, Mr. Mon, as I can see. What? Go ahead. Right now, sir, as I can see that you're under your name, sir, we found some criminal activities. And due to those criminal activities, there are some criminal allegations, sir, pressed against your name for the money laundering and for the drug trafficking. That's what, that's what uh, as you are telling, sir, Sandra said. But I don't know anything about it. Okay. Right now, Mr. Uh, Lester, your call was connected to me that you are willing to cooperate with the government. Yes, in I'm going to cooperate. In order to catch the main suspect. Okay. 
Okay. Uh-huh. Then in that case, sir, as I'm here, I'll be out. I will guide you further, sir, that how you can resolve this matter and how you can come out from this legal situation. But right now, sir, we just need your full cooperation so okay. that we can find the real culprit and stop this fraudulent activities from your okay. needs. Okay. Hang on, hang on. Hold on a minute, please. Two four nine. Two nine. Two four nine. Bye. I'm back. Hello? Hello? Okay. Yeah. Are you yeah, there? that was my cousin Eddie. He wanted to borrow my truck. Okay, go ahead. No problem. At this point of time, Mr. Lester, as I'm here to help you out, I will guide you further that how you can resolve this matter and how you can come out from this legal situation. Okay. But first of all, sir, I want you to explain you something because this is a matter of identity theft. Okay. You don't know that who is a real culprit. Well, I told, we I, don't I, know I, I told Sandra, Sandra Jones that uh, I, I, my, Cross-Eyed Mary comes to my house all the time. She lives two doors down and up your ass, and I tell her she comes here all the time, and I don't know. I don't kind of trust her. But at this point of time, sir, till the time you do not resolve this matter, you need to keep this matter very confidential with okay, you. Okay, I will. Okay? Yes. Right now, you need to be in other place while you're talking to me regarding this case. Okay. I'm going to let you know that what we are going to do in order to remove your name from this case. Because okay. right now... There is an arrest warrant on your name. So what we are going to do, we are going to suspend your social. I, you and see, you can't do that because that's what I live on. I'm 71 years old. That's what I live on. I understand that part, sir, that you uh, live on your social security, but right. you will be getting your new social security card. Right, because the I don't get, that why I don't get any retirement from, from being a cat cuddler. There's no retirement. All I get is social security. Sir, you will get huh. your social security benefits on each and every month in your new social. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Let me tell you that why we have to suspend your social and issue a new social okay. on your name. All right. Because right okay. now, sir, your identity has been compromised. Your social has been compromised. I think it has. Okay. Yes. In order to catch the real culprit, yeah. In order to catch the real culprit, the government has a plan that we will go and suspend your social, and we will issue a new social on your name. Apart from the government and apart from you, nobody will have any idea nobody that your will. social has been suspended. Okay. So if anyone tries to misuse with your social, then we can catch them red-handed. Red- this oh. is the reason that we need red-handed. to go okay. and suspend your social, okay? Okay, okay. But before we suspend your social, sir, I can see that under your name, there are more than 17 bank accounts and more than 25 credit cards running under your name. We having a doubt that the person who stole your identity, they could have opened a fake account on fake credit card on your name. Right now, Mr. Lasher, if you really want to cooperate, then in that case, sir, we have to suspend your social. After we suspend your social, sir, we will have to freeze all the bank accounts and all the credit cards which are the link with your social. But that not mine, right? Not that mine. Which are not yours. Not mine. Now let me explain you. Okay, explain let me. Let me explain you, Mr. Lester. Okay. Okay. The account which are not yours will be frozen on a permanent basis as well as your account which you are holding that will be also going to freeze up for a temporary basis, okay? okay? Your genuine account will be unfrozen again after the next 24 working hours until you receive your new social from us. Okay. That means right now, once we suspend your social, we were going to freeze all the bank accounts from your name, including your genuine bank, okay? Your genuine bank account will going to unfreeze again but tomorrow, once you get your new social, all right? Okay. Let me explain you, sir, what exactly the procedure. 
the procedure is that we will go and suspend your social right now. Once we suspend your social, we will going to freeze all the fake account from your name on a permanent basis, as well as we will going to freeze your genuine account on a temporary basis. Okay. Your genuine account will be unfrozen again, but tomorrow, once you get to your new social, all right? Okay. So like for tomorrow, sir, I will fix statement with an officer, the officer from the social security, and one of the officers from your local sheriff department. They both will come to your residing address. They will provide tomorrow? you what time your tomorrow? new social security what time? card. What time? What time? Tomorrow. The- I will let you know each and everything, sir, once we yeah, because, your social. Yeah, because like I'm, sp- I'm what, supposed to meet my friend down. To I'm supposed to meet my friend down in the park. We sit there and watch the furly panties run in the cold sun. I will let you know each okay. and everything, sir. Okay. But right now, I have to ask some few questions with you okay. so that we can differentiate that which account belongs to you and which account belongs to the fraudulators. Because you later? Know okay, that this let's is a see. Genuine account and this is- okay, go ahead. So first of all, Mr. Lester, can you please let me know that have you ever been picked up for any kind of fraud, scams, any criminal allegation before this? A long time ago. It was years ago. I ran a pyramid scheme, but it was years ago. I was only in my okay. I was only in my twenties. I, I thought it was a good way to make money starting a pyramid scream, scheme, and uh, I called it Amway, and it was a big scam. And people bought into it. I went to jail for a couple of years over that one, but that was a long okay. time ago. I was and, in my twenties. Uh, do you have your own house? Do I want, ma'am? Do you have your own house or yes. you live on a rent? No, no, I own the house I live in. Okay. How many family members are there in your family who all are live with you? Uh, my wife, Sally Sue, and my cousin Eddie lives with us. He wants okay. to borrow my truck. And uh, do you have any car or be? Yeah, I have a, I have a truck. I have a Ford. Do you I- have any car yeah, I'm telling you, I got a Ford F-150 pickup truck, 4x4. Four four. Okay, and uh, coming to the bank In fact, account, wait a minute, so my, my, cousin Eddie's here to, my cousin Eddie's here, he wants to borrow it. He's right there, go ahead. And remember, don't drink and drive. God damn it! Andrina! Andrina! Uh, oh, gee, what I'm it? telling you. Don't pay to drink and drive! I Your told whole life to be ruined in five motherfucking minutes. I know, Eddie. That's why I'm telling you not to drink and drive with my truck. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. He's taking my truck. He's got to go to the dump. Okay. okay what? Coming to your bank account, sir. How many accounts do you have on your name? I bank with one bank, Titty Bank. So it's a TD Bank. Titty Bank, yes. But according to the recorded line, though you have said to the previous officer that you have a city bank. That's why I said city bank. So it's a TD or it's a CD? Titty. 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 Okay, how many accounts you are holding in your TD bank? I have a checking, a savings, and a double D. Sorry, apart from savings and checking, what do you have? The double D account. Okay, and uh, coming to your checking account, uh, do you know, like, what is the balance you have available on your checking account right now? Probably 2000 Okay, and in your saving account? 5000 probably. Okay, and in your double DD account? My double D account, uh, I can't touch because uh, it's a... Uh, serious consequence if I take it out they're going to punish me they take money away if you if you okay. if you dip into the double D they, they don't like that because they say you're not supposed to touch the double D's unless they're yours you know but I don't I don't know anybody okay 
And uh, Mr. Lester, do you have any credit card in your name? Yes, I have a Visa and a MasterCard. Okay. Uh, what is the balance you have available on your Visa card and on your MasterCard? Both of them together? I don't know, probably 10000 I'm talking about in your Visa card, what is the balance you have available which you can use more from your credit card? Oh, I don't know, 5000 Okay, and from your MasterCard? Probably six. Okay. And uh, no problem. Right now, Mr. Lester, uh, can you just verify me a social once again? I gave it to uh, Sandra. Did you lose it? It's 0861010463. Okay. Well, right now, Mr. Lester, as we have taken all the necessary information from you okay. that we need to take, now I'm going to send this information so, to the U.S. Treasury Department okay. in order to cross-verify. Okay. But before we cross-verify this information okay. so, to the U.S. Treasury Department, there are some rules and regulations of United States Treasury. Like if they freeze your bank account, on a temporary basis, then the money which you are holding in your bank account, in your credit card, everything so shall be taken over by the U.S. Treasury Department, and that money shall be under their custody for the next nine months of time. What about my money? That means so that the my, you talking about my money or your money criminal? Sir, will be, I'm talking about the money which you are holding. How can you in take my money? Account. Like at this point of time, Mr. Lester, under your name, there are a lot of fake accounts and the fake credit card has been opened. So the U.S. Treasury Department wants to check that the money which you are holding in your bank account, is there any illegal funds has been transferred to your yeah, account? Just a minute. Yeah, no. pound, and the pound, time pound. duration is a nine month. Go ahead. Okay, now what? Okay. Hello? I'm calling you, like, at this point of... Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So I'm telling, sir, like, tomorrow, once your account will be unfrozen again, there will be a zero balance in your checking account as well as in your saving account. Everything shall be taken over by the U.S. Treasury Department how could, for the next nine months. How, I don't understand how you could Tomorrow, do Tomorrow, once their account will be closed again, there will be a zero balance in your checking you, account, in your uh, saving account, as well as in your credit card. No. What, what will I do for money? Like at this point of time, Mr. Lester, the U.S. Treasury Department is providing you one option. Okay. With the help of that option, you can secure your money for the next 24 working hours. Okay. If you want, I can let you know what is the option. Well, yeah, I want to secure, secure my secure money. money. I don't okay. want. I don't want them taking it. How do I secure it? Okay. Hmm. Then in that case, sir, before we suspend your social right now. You will have to go and convert your money into a digital currency card, which is a temporary money card or a temporary gift card. What's Whatever that mean? money you have in What's your that bank mean? account. I don't know what that means. Card, What's that mean? The money which you are holding in your bank account, in your credit card, yeah. you have to convert that money into a digital currency card, okay. which is a temporary money card or a temporary gift card. A gift card. You need to keep those cards with you. Yeah, you need to keep those cards with you till tomorrow until the officer comes. Once the officer comes to your doorstep, they would be scanning the barcode of those cards and they will provide you the cashier's check for that amount uh -huh. which you are going to secure right now. Uh -huh. That means... I have to, where do I go, where do I get these things, where do I get these things? Uh-oh, uh-oh, cross-eyed, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, 
cross-eyed uh, cross-eyed Mary just came in. Cross-eyed Mary just came in. I think she's the one that did it. Just a minute. Cross-eyed Mary. Yes. Did you take my social security number? No, I wouldn't do that. Someone took it, and you're the only one I suspect because you live two doors down and up your ass. It was not me. Okay, well, Cross-Eyed Mary said it wasn't her, so now we don't know who it was. Okay, at this point of time, my Alexander, I told you that you need to keep this matter confidential. Oh, I forgot so about the confidential this matter with your con Mary? Oh, Cross-Eyed Mary, I just told her. Okay, no problem. Maintain the privacy and protocol. I'm going to make hey, Can you point me out to your sex code so I can find a store you nearby have you? have to maintain the privacy protocol, okay? Don't tell nobody I told you okay. that somebody used my social security number in Texas to rent a car of all things, a Toyota Corolla. Oh, no, I won't. Okay, I won't. don't tell I nobody. I won't tell anybody. Okay, I'll say Mary's not going to tell anybody. Boy, this is a stupid no, scam, I isn't it? <laughs> huh? Ma'am, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Suck yeah, what? Verify me, sir, with your zip code. Verify me my zip, zip code. code. 131111. Yeah. So it's a 131111? Yes. Okay. Verify me your address. My address? 100 Main Street. Uh-huh. Maranica, New York. Okay. Okay. Are, are we almost done doing, with the scam, ma'am? Ma'am, no. ma'am are, are we almost done with the scam? I'm getting awfully tired sitting here fucking with you. I'm sorry. Thank you, pardon? I know that. Yeah, what are you trying to do? To What'd you say, Rundy? My time, okay? Rundy, I can't hear you. Speak up. Oh, really? Take the goat dick out of your mouth. And speak up. Come well, on, speak up. That. Be a proud scammer. If you're going to be a scammer, be a proud one. Right, Cross-Eyed Mary? Okay, Cross-Eyed Mary agrees so with you me. So you know, you know, you know that, right? Yeah, if you chose you know that, that job, right? at least try to do a good, will you? I mean, you know, I know you got a scam because you can't get a real job because you're a piece of shit, right? I don't have a time to waste time. I don't have a time to waste on you, okay? You don't have a time to waste on me? Oh, that's uh, too bad, you motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you, you too. You piece of shit. I don't like to abuse. That's the reason hey. I'm not abusing. So do not take advantage of that, okay? Take advantage of what? I didn't hear you. Take advantage of I what? I do not want to abuse. So do not want to not take advantage of that. Oh, you don't I want me to abuse you? I, can, um, I do not want to do that. I don't want you to steal from people. Either. I do not want to abuse you. You got just about chance of me not fucking with you as I do. No. You not stealing from people, you scamming bitch. Huh? Scammer? Oh, scammer. Scammer lady. I know what I'm doing. So you, are... you know what you're doing. You know you're a thief. Well, that's good. At least you know it. Oh, she hung up. She cross-eyed Mary, we lost her. <laughs> cross-eyed Mary, you fucked yeah. Hi, folks, this is Wenja. Click below to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or if you want to be that way about it, don't.